So now, what's the next thing? Can you sell ice cream just out of the out of a gallon and just like here, and <laughs> just put it in the person's hand like here? Bring your own cup, <laughs> bring your own spoon, and just give it to them. No, you need to start purchasing equipment. So now you have you had a hundred dollars, but you have nothing. What can you do? You can ask somebody, hey, can you please come and help me? I need some money in order to help my business. And this person says, sure, I'm willing to invest $20. And you get somebody else to say, I'm willing to invest 30, 40, 50. Some may say 100. So now you probably got maybe say, or you got just some people and they say, I'm going to give you $200 to start investing. So now before you had $100 and the $100 was used to purchase your ice cream. So now you have $100 in assets, but it's ice cream because this is your inventory. But now you have $200 extra. So now you need to provide yourself with the equipment. What are the equipment that you would need? You would need a freezer, possibly, a small little freezer. You would need um, uh, some little cups, uh, little caps, maybe labels for your company. Um, maybe, a, like I said, a little portable freezer to where that you can freeze the ice and have it inside this cart while you sell it. You can have an umbrella if you're doing it outside during the summertime. Whatever it is, whatever you are purchasing to buy for your company will be considered an asset, period. Anything that you invest in your company will be an asset. So if it's borrowed from somebody or even if it was if somebody if they loaned you some money, it's important for you to use the money in the right way. The tip, the natural tendency is that when we get our money from somebody and we make some investments, the first thing we do is once we get our money, we trying to look fresh. We trying to have a nice bling bling on, trying to have nice shoes on. That's not the goal. Ultimately, the goal is to be able to get this money and to help capitalize on it and to allow that money to grow like a snowball effect. So again, what are the other things that's in the category of an asset? They also said they have um, accounts. What is it? You have accounts receivable. This is accounts receivable means is, is that, uh, say for instance, you give somebody some ice cream and they say, you know, what? I ain't got no ice cream, but can I give me half a gallon from you? And you say, sure, no problem. You can put this in your statement as an asset because this person has promised to pay you back. So because the per person has promised to pay you back, you receive this money. And with this money, you're I mean, when you do receive this money, hopefully it's within 30 day period, nine, uh, 60 day. But you have to make that commitment when you're interacting with this person to make a commitment to it. But they say, you know, I'll pay you next week. Okay, cool. So you give them $50 worth of ice cream. $50 worth of ice cream. They're going to owe you $50 by next week. So this would be considered accounts receivable saying that, you know, in the future, somebody will be paying me some money back. That's one. Another thing is office supplies. That's an asset. So anything that you would do for your business as you start to upscale your business, then you say, oh, you know, I need office supplies. I need papers. I need um, documents. I need computers. I need uh, a printer. I need um, uh, office li uh, logos, labels, blah, 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 all that stuff right there. That is considered an asset. So when you go out to the store and you purchase anything.